Today's game is Lakeview Centennial versus Garland High School. The Patriots versus the Owls. And here's our first pitcher is going to go ahead and be Gabriel Rojo. Starting off with the Owls, number four, Johnny Garrison at bat. And it looks like the first hit of the game is going to be a foul. Foul ball. Excellent start to today's activities, wouldn't you say? I mean, at least it's uh, not a strike. Oh, and it appears he's been hit by the ball, and number four is going to go ahead and walk. Coming up to bat, number 10, Gideon Etheridge for the Garland Owls. Now, I actually knew Gideon at middle school. Oh, you did know? Yeah, I had him in theater. That's He's a pretty cool, pretty cool guy. That's always neat to know. Straight. Give him another chance. Ooh, try to steal a base. Tried to peg an, uh, here's uh, Gabriel's tried to peg an early lead by number four, who's trying hurriedly to escape from the third first. Seems to be getting a little bit anxious there. And that's the crack of the bat. All the way in the outfield. Left field, short stops, got it. And too late, they're already safe on first and second respectively. Coming up to bat, number two, Christian Macius. Macius is a senior for the, for the Garland Owls. I felt like that was out of the strike zone, don't you think? Just a bit, yep. A little wide there. Tagging out a player. I don't quite know what just happened there. Uh, I'm being perfectly it's honest. It's like uh, Gideon Etheridge swapped out for another player on the Garland side. Not quite sure what happened. What's happened there? But oh, that was incredibly close. You almost actually hit him. That almost did already. You know, that would have been the second player hit by a ball this game, and we're not even into the first out yet. Oh, that was almost caught stealing. Yeah, that was incredible. Yeah, they're take the Garland players seem to be taking some risky leads out on the, those bases. Definitely. Yep, that's that is quite unusual. Trying to sneak by. Probably trying to sneak these bases because you almost can't hear them running due to the wind. Oh yeah. His once again, it is incredibly windy outside. That was 
and number two has been hit by Rojas, uh, by Rojo, leading to the second hit player of the game. Bases I mean, are loaded. A walk is a walk. Walk is a walk, and now bases are loaded. This could be ugly for the uh, Patriots if this continues this way. Now, I personally, if I was playing, I would not like to get hit by a ball. That is my absolute worst fear. <laughs> and so I probably wouldn't be walking too much. Yep. Well, it appears the Patriots have called a gathering to the mound. Number 14 will be coming up to bat soon after. Hunter Tucker, a, another senior for the Garland Owls. You know the wind is strong when I'm fair when the American flag ends up becoming a windsock you know, right behind you, and you hear the clanging of it pounding against its pole. That's just how it is. That it is. Once again, that number that is number fourteen, Hunter Tucker. And that ping. Where did that ball go? So that was a phantom ball. You heard it hit the, you heard it hit the bat, but it well, went straight into the umpire's hands. It somehow materialized, but that was, that was something. That was incredibly Way wide. Too far out. Yep. Just like the '70s, <laughs> far out, man. <laughs> That is such a satisfying sound. It really is. Hear, the hearing the baseball just fit perfectly that's into the catcher's mitt. That smack. You can you can hear the leather. Yep. I think one of the only other better sounds is when someone strikes a ball with a wooden bat, and it doesn't make that aluminum pingy sound, but you just hear that crack. As and it's that was a uh, strikeout of Hunter Tucker going back to the dugout. First out of the game. Once again, bases are loaded here. Bo Bashirs, number nine, junior. He is also a lefty. Interesting. Yep. You don't see too many left-handed baseball players. Uh, well, if you do, do you know what they call a left-handed uh, pitcher? What? A southpaw. Interesting. Yep. I did not know that. Appears to be. That was a solid strike. I don't know how these baseball players can do it. I played football, and I can't imagine having a tiny, hard baseball just fly at you at such speeds. <laughs> oh, that was a strike. And Bo is out. Heading up to bat. That is the second out so far. Heading. Coming up to bat is number 11, Cody Russell. Sophomore for Garland. Already the first pitch of his game has been thrown. Oh, ooh. Grounder heading towards uh, foul. He can bounce up at the end there, huh? That was most definitely a foul, though. That was a, a, that was a satisfying hit, though. It definitely was, especially seeing the dust kick up. Yep. As it slammed right into the ground. Dust on the baseline is great. Oh, that's a, that's a quick one. Up, oh, we already have number four heading home. That's the first run of the game. However, they did manage to get an out, so we're gonna go ahead and swap out. Then Lakeview heads to the dugout, and Garland gets ready to take the field. We're heading into the bottom of the first year, Connor. Bottom of the first inning. So far, this game seems very promising. I do believe that was one run. I'm waiting for the scoreboard to confirm, but that was a, a thing about baseball is when it finally kicks up, 
it, it just goes and you it's really hard to keep track of everything I was actually uh, very surprised at the amount of times that Garland tried actually stealing a base yeah you, I mean in, you don't really see that very much in the majors and it's odd to see how it impacts a smaller league like like high school here so it's fascinating <laughs> it was kind of, it was kind of funny seeing the the pitcher have to look back so often because he was paranoid that Carlin was trying to take another take another base oh yeah I think I saw t counted three attempts to steal there oh definitely three at least Number 11 is going to be pitching. Once again, he was Cody Russell. He was recently a bat for Garland. Right now it's that uh, awkward twilight period between the changing of innings. Oh, yep. Got some excellent music playing in the background here. If you're into it, it's excellent. Me, I cannot relate. It's hard to portray sarcasm when you are a announcer. It it all depends. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can see why. It's just it's just a facade. Yep. Oh, and it and looks the music's like fading, which means something is probably about to happen. The catcher is number two, Gideon Etheridge, and on the mound is... Number 11, Cody Russell. Once again, Cody Russell was recently at bat when it led to the uh, eh, phenomenal plays you saw at the end of the last inning. We can go ahead and see the batters that will be going up for Lakeview, getting ready, <laughs> talking by their, with their friends by the dugout before they dug out before they head out to go and see if they can hit and they can smack that little baseball into the stars. I think it's a morale boost being able to chat with your teammates just before you go up to bat. Oh yeah. Helps significantly. It's it's almost like a like a huddle in football. It really is. It, just you know being able to get ready and Get ready to pretty much go to war. Mm -hmm. Now, now, it's a little, little too early for that. <laughs> that it is. I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk politics while I'm announcing, but you should be able to infer. Yeah. Uh, wind seems to have died down a bit, which is. Oh not, yeah. Yeah. Thank God. On the other hand, it has gotten and it immediately starts getting a slight breeze, but uh, it's starting sun starting to go down finally. So, nice little uh, balancing. Sun, out. Uh, sun's going down, the wind's starting to die. It's starting to get a lot more calm, which hopefully translates to this game firing up. Oh yeah, excellent correlation there. We got ourselves a heckler in the audience. Yep. Decent turnout for tonight, I'd say. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Especially on the Lakeview side. Oh, yeah. Stands are nearly full on the Lakeview side, and the Garland side is filling up those empty spaces. Gradually. Gradually. We, we're seeing a trickle in here. I would say all of the empty seats that are on the Lakeview side have the exact reflection, almost. Like the inverse, I guess. Yeah, I'd say so. The empty seats on the Lakeview side, the inverse for the Garland side. Now it's time to play ball. All right, number, number 14 stepping up. Number 14, Amir Mason. Amir Mason, up at bat. Amir is a freshman for Lakeview. The and ball came straight toward us. <laughs> that it did. That was that was actually mildly mildly terrifying. Uh, now the fact that Amir is a freshman, you'll probably be seeing him a lot more in the next couple of years, three to be exact, if he decides to stay in baseball. Yep, that was a nice solid strike to lead us off there. 
Mason is also batting left hand dominant. Umps fished out another ball over his little side pouch there. I never noticed that that was what the side pouch was for. It's oh. for holding yeah. extra baseballs. Yep. That was an satisfying thump. Uh, yeah, they <laughs> umps will typically t toss out balls that get scuffed or uh, mess around with in order to prevent cheating, like the spitballs and uh, you know the, the like that in sandpapering of the ball that occurred in the 1910s and 20s. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, as it, it's it's almost like a middleman. Make sure that both teams are yeah. playing fair. Yeah. As a matter of fact, in the early days of baseball, uh, number 13, Aaron Garza coming up to bat. Aaron is a sophomore. Hmm. Well, you'll be seeing him in the next couple of years. And the uh, probably alongside Amir. That that is true. So that was a slippery ball. Seems to get away from the catcher there. Sunset is starting to dawn on us, <laughs> and it's yeah. getting very bright. But no worries, that just makes it easier to see the game. That it does, and we can see the lights starting to turn on. That was a. Eventually, not only will you hear the satisfying thud of the catcher's mitt, you'll hear the satisfying hum of the stadium lights. Yep. We'd like to remind you that Amir is on first, and he's taking a bit of a uh, decent lead on base. He's getting ready to go. Let's see how the, how it turns out back w at bat, though. And that appears to be the second ball. Uh, no, third ball. One more, and we may just have to end up walking <laughs> old Aaron there. Oh, almost caught stealing. Yep, uh, Amir was almost caught stealing. He was taking a bit of a daunting lead there. But I mean, these players really are quite confident in trying to get a lead on their bases. You don't see that that much or much attempts at stealing. Well, probably would be too in the early game. Yep, that was a strike right there. Two strikes, two balls, one <laughs> outcome. <laughs> Kicking up dust. Oh, oh, oh. They've just forced an out. Amir and desperately tried to steal second. Maybe not the best move for him. That was not an out though. Oh no, Amir it was is not. Still in. That, is, that is my bad. Amir is still in this game. Hmm. You know, uh, Amir uh, has a uh, .4 exactly batting average, which is incredibly high, especially for someone in the uh, high school leagues. Uh, as a matter of fact, the uh, person who s holds the highest batting average in the majors would still be Ted Williams with his uh, quite sour .410. I think it's interesting, though, that Amir has such a high batting average because he is one of, he is among the few players that have over 40 times at bat so that average is a real yeah. average and with one of only two freshmen on the team he is proving to be quite a powerhouse for like in view in later in later years I'd like to see how his career turns out it'll be good to keep him on the team for the next couple of years don't you think yep a strike and number 13 is out I made a slight mistake I meant point four hundred batting average it's still very good Still is incredibly good. Uh, 
I actually forgot to announce this, but at bat right now is number six, Aaron Dillon, Dillon Hill. He is a sophomore. He's been at bat. This will be his 60th time at bat, but he has 22 hits on here as well, so just, uh, just over a third. Fairly impressive. 60 times. I think that's the most anybody on this team has been at bat. That That is true. This is, yep, he has just reached 60 right now, so let's see how he does. Some cheers from the Garland side there. There's a bat strike that just occurred. Oh. Kaping, that was very, very nice hit. Amir's headed All for third. All the way in left field. Oh, and Amir appears to be heading home. And that is a run in for Amir. Very nice. That was a run to home by Amir. That it was. And that brings Dylan's, uh, Dylan up just a bit in the terms of the RBI department. Coming up to bat, number 22, senior Gabriel Rojo. That was Dylan's 18th run batted in, which still putting him as the highest uh, scorer in the team in terms of uh, batting and runs. Doing good Very job. Very nice. Man. Gabriel Rojo, our pitcher, is up at bat. Pitched the last round. Last inning. Yeah, uh, top of the inning, sorry. A lot of cheering coming from the Lakeview side. Oh, that was a nice ground hit. Oh, and Rojo has been tagged out. Polite clapping coming from the Garland side. And the Johnny Cash kicks on. <laughs> I feel like it's rubbing salt in the wound a little bit. Just a Don't you think? Bit. Yep. Coming up to bat, number 11, Shane Dozier. Also a senior, just like Gabriel Rojo. Also, it's good to keep in mind. Ooh, hit, hit by the ball. I right. heard that one all, yep. all the way over here. Yep. I'd, I'd take that walk. We have runners at first and third. What was that, 60, 70 mile per hour ball coming straight to your shoulder? Oh, yeah. I'd take that walk. You get up to the majors, it's even worse. They regularly break 90. Yeah. That's... Coming up to bat, number four, Jose Castillo, also another senior. And he is. Jose also, we'd like to point out, has 14 runs batted in on 15 hits, which is interesting. Fairly, yeah. Starting to pick up a bit. Oh, old friends back. Also, I can uh, point out that they're using uh, number four is using a bright orange back, and that went right back out at us. And it looks like number six has made it home. Up, oh. and in that a little bit of a kerfuffle. Um, Lakeview has just scored another run, and we now have a runner on second. A lot, of, a lot of cheering and jeering coming from the Lakey side. Crowd's getting a bit riled up. Mostly positive. 
quite positive on the gar on the Lakey side. Oh, that's a crack. That went into the air. Where it go? I don't know where. Where in the air did that ball go? Pierce have been a foul. Most likely. Two balls, two strikes, one outcome. Yep. I have a feeling of deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> Another satisfying thud. <sighs> oh, Ooh, it's a satisfying hit, hit all the way in right field. Oh, yep. Oh. And it looks like number three has headed home. Number three, Aiden Gary. Yep. Now, I don't understand why they're playing Juicy by Biggie, but it's a good song. Josh Morton has just stepped up to the plate. He's number 10. He is also a junior. Good to know. He's got another year after this. Morton has 18 hits this year. Let's see if we can bring that up to 19. Oh, like that one was a bit too low. <laughs> Some pretty audible jeering coming from the Lakeview side, but <laughs> that there is. Hopefully, hopefully it's all in good sport. That was a strike right there, clean down the middle. I don't see a score for the visitor side on the scoreboard, but I'm assuming it's one. Oh yeah, I'm, yeah, yep. Currently, Lakeview, three, Garland, one. Oh, that. Ball came straight for us. That's the one of the best parts of hitting at home plate. Uh, well, seeing, it, uh, seeing from behind home plate. But you're safely behind a net. But you're still more slightly terrified when you see yeah, a ball yeah. heading right for you when you're holding a I mean, microphone. There's like a 60 mile per hour ball coming straight for you. Yeah, I'd feel a little scared too. Yep. Just saying. It's again, I love to br bring up how all the uh, Lakeview bats are brightly for us in colors. And that was a nice hit. Beautiful. All clunker. the way out in left field. And but it was caught. Yeah, that was a beautiful catch. Then uh, it's gonna bring an end to the inning as we head into the second. Top of the second, Garland's heading back in to go ahead and get ready to go and step up to bat again. And Lakeview is storming the field. They're already out there. That was very quick. I think this time Lakeview knows that they need to be looking out for Garland attempting to steal a bit more. Oh, definitely. Because mm, I would say the paranoia is really high. Oh, yeah. If you're the pitcher, you're always looking behind you, always looking behind you, making sure nobody's trying to steal your bases. <laughs> you know what? We have the chance. I, I think we should go ahead and thank our, uh, thank our fellow peers who are uh, working in camera for us tonight. Uh, we have Victor Villagran and Melanie. That we do. Melanie Rodriguez. That Mel was her last name. That is correct. <laughs> Sorry, yep. Melanie, that I forgot your last name, but I just remembered it, so it's okay. Yep, they're doing an excellent job, and they're right next to the speakers right now, so we thank their ears ah. for their service. Yeah. You have Victor Villagran, Melanie Mar Mel not Melanie Martinez, she's <laughs> a singer. You have Melanie Rodriguez, who is on camera, and John Bayonne, our director, and I'm Connor Orr. Your name? Oh, hi, I'm Josh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Josh, you'll forget her name sometimes. Uh, oh, I was uh, temporarily distracted. We have a kid who's dancing in, uh, in between, uh, just off the bleachers. Ah. He stopped now, but he seemed to be having a fun time. Oh, there we go. Oh, he almost, he almost took a face plant onto the ground. <laughs> 
Don't worry, though. <laughs> He's wearing a Ranger shirt, too. Little young Lee. fan right there. Cody Russell coming up to bat, number 11 for the Garland team. Already a hit. Oh, he's heading for first. Oh, fumble. Oh. Man, that was, that did not turn out well. Uh, Unlucky. First baseman had attempted Vito Ali to grab it, and, and he appears to have dropped it, leading to an early single. No, nope. all right. No, nope, he's gotten back. Now batting, number eight, Adrian De La Pena. Oh, another hit. Picked up by the third baseman. Appears to have been a foul. It looked like a foul from here. It did. It's kind of hard to see the chalk lines from this vantage point because we're not up that high. But they we're, we're about uh, hip level with the umpire. So. Yep. Oh, that's Ooh, a where did that one beautiful go? sky high shot heading towards, I believe, center. Got a right, very far. Left fielder, uh, left fielder managed to pop in and catch that sucker. We're up to two outs already. Uh, for neglected to mention that our uh, Cody Russell was tagged out at first. Yep. Pretty unfortunate at the top of the second inning. Yeah, that this is going pretty quick. Two up, two down. Currently at bat is number five, Jackson Forrester. Oh, that's a nice solid crack. Ooh, oh, he almost got caught. Uh, third uh, third baseman almost managed to jump up and catch him out, but it appears that, oh, yeah, he's safe first. Not much they can do there. Now, when they're when they're running the base, and I see him throw that baseball bat off to the dugout, honestly, even though I'm probably about 60 feet away, I still feel kind of threatened almost. Just seeing a flying baseball just rose me the wrong way. <laughs> that, that is true. Flying baseball bat. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a pretty hefty thing there. That bat is number four, Juan Garrison. Still a little windy. It's kind of hard to see our roster sheet. Almost blew in my hand there. Ping. Ooh. All the way into left field. Up in the Can air. it get caught? Ooh, it was oh, caught. That's a beautiful catch. Uh, cheers from the Leafy side. And that's actually amazing catch. Yeah, that was that was a great shutout inning. I mean, uh, about a hundred feet up in the air, straight to the left field. Yeah. yeah, I mean, three out, three outs in like I'd say that's about five minutes. That was incredibly impressive. Bottom of the second inning. Leafy's back at bat again. And Garland is getting ready to take their positions. Yeah, currently coming up to bat is the entire Lakeview team, all sharing one bat, unfortunately. <laughs> Eminem's no. going to go ahead and kick us off. Anyone else remember this classic from 2002? I don't because I was an infant. You can still enjoy music from a long time ago. Oh, well, yeah, I'm not denying that. That's kind of weird, though, saying that 2002 was a long time ago. When you think about it, it really is. 16 years ago? 16. Oh, that pitcher, it, that pitch from a while. It almost hit us, and we haven't even started the inning yet. It's well, mom's spaghetti. <laughs> it is indeed. And I'm not trying to be funny. It's actually mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Italian food, I think, is better when someone's parent make it and makes it. Like even if you're like over at a sleepover, like yeah. as a little kid, and they make spaghetti or uh, pastrami or lasagna or something, it's when always like knees the best. weak, arms are heavy. Yep. Mom spaghetti. Yep. There we go. There it is. That's the only thing I know about this song. <laughs> I think the edits get even better. Have you seen the edit where it changes all the rhymes at the end to mom spaghetti? 
No, but that kind of just sounds like the original song. It does indeed. <laughs> Pitchers warming, warming up. And that was, a, that was a good catch by the catcher. Yeah, you know, just yeah. his hands shot straight up. Number two and number twenty-one for Lake Deer going and warming up, and ready to take uh, take up the bat. That'd be Justin Ortega and Jalen Graham. Now I'd like to mention, in the net in front of us, there are holes just big enough for a baseball to fly through. Under the right circumstances, there very could be the possibility of us getting hit by a ball. The very right circumstances. Um, the, uh, I'd also like to mention that our camera is also underneath one of them. Coming up to bat, number two, Justin Ortega, senior. Justin has a batting average of uh, uh, 444. Point 444. Sorry, dang, sorry, that's my bad. <laughs> Be interesting. If he did have oh, that the whole number 444. Don't see it. It's not even possible to get past one. It's like having 44 people swing at the same time and all hit it. I like to see the calculations that go into that. Couple strike Probably there. The best baseball play, best baseball player ever. Players. Or players. Players. Up, oh, crack of the bat. Satisfying. Grounding towards. Ooh, and it went right through. Went right through the shortstop to center. And he's safe at first. Number two stepping up. Safely at first. No, sorry, number 21 is stepping up. Number 21, Jalen Graham coming yeah. up to bat. I'd like to mention that Jalen right now leads the Lakeview team in home runs. Get his footing. Make sure everything's perfect. Are you ready? He's got or a hopefully another home run. He's got a very firm stance there. Oh. I can see how he got that home run. Oh, yep. He's got a powerful stance when he holds that bat. Takes a strike on, uh, on his first pitch, though. Unfortunate. Yep. Hopefully, second or third time's charm. Yep. You're welcome. Almost caught stealing. Yep. That was a good eye. Yeah, that was. <laughs> I, I didn't even. See I didn't even notice it until you until you wildly spun around and tried to throw it first. Once again, everyone here is taking extremely wide leads. Oh, he's going for second. And the ball just hit the brick wall in front of us. Yeah. Very. M makes a little popping sound. It's like yeah. Fireworks going off. You would think. Baseball would split more often. You, know, you, you, always hear, you always hear about the bats cracking, but you never hear about the baseballs themselves splitting apart. Oh, well, yep. Yeah. Isn't it kind of weird? Yeah. I mean, they, they, they've changed the design of them quite a bit over time. I mean, I'm fairly certain in the 1800s when they were actually made out of just leather stitched together, that, you know, the baseball's going to split open quite a bit. But... I mean, you don't hear about football splitting open much either, but, you know, you hear about yeah. holes in them. I think one of the advantages is that the baseball isn't just filled with air. It's yeah. filled with hard cork and... Hard pork. Cork. Oh. So I thought you said pork. Pork, yes. <laughs> yes. Baseballs are filled with delicious meat, uh, pig meat. Yep. Well, no. I was going to say pig skin, but that's football. <laughs> yep. They uh they swapped over to the Cork Center in the 1910s. But before that, c it was almost impossible to get a home run. That's why Babe Ruth, because he took the stage in the 19 in 19 uh, 1919, I'd like to say, Ooh, started. Good dodge. <laughs> he almost got hit in the head. Yep. Fairly certain 1919 was able to become one of the first people to start consistently getting home runs, and he was able to do that until uh, the early 70s. So had a long-standing record there. Now it's like uh, baseballs are filled with what? Rubber? Hard rubber? Hard rubber and cork, yeah. Hard rubber, cork. They used to call the period before they did that the dead ball period because the, you couldn't hit it. <laughs> you hit it and it would go to the infield. There was almost no point in having an outfield. The 
the uh, we've been stalling for a bit because the owls have congregated at the pitcher's mound. But let's see, we're currently at two balls and two strikes for number 21 at bat. Like I said before, deja vu. <laughs> a yeah. bit of a bit of a life or death situation. Yep. You might you might want to stand a little closer to the diamond. Maybe get hit so you can <laughs> get a walk. Yep. Personally, I wouldn't, but... I'd rather not. I mean, you look through the stats and you see incredibly high numbers of getting hit by pitches. So, uh, I'm starting to feel like there's uh, someone sneaking magnets into all these pl uh, into the balls and all these Defin players. Co definitely. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Once again, we'd like to remind you that today is April 17th, tax day. Uh, if you haven't realized this already, go now and go do your taxes, please. They're more important than baseball. <laughs> your government one, your government money is waiting for you. <laughs> oh, that was a nice hit. And Jalen's uh, moved on to 21. And, and Justin Ortega has run to home. Congratulations. He's not left the game, but he's run home. <laughs> so Lakeview now has four points. Coming up to bat, Amir Mason, freshman. That is right. As said before, you'll probably be seeing him a lot more in the coming years. With, as I incorrectly reported earlier, ooh, that's a attempt at a steal. And I'm pretty like sure safe. he got that. Yeah, he's safe. Look at that cloud of dust, though. You can still see it now. Uh, that's his trophy. <laughs> cloud of dust saying, I stole this base. I love how um you know whenever a game starts, everyone's uniforms are nice and pristine, and you can tell whoever's running the most and is trying to get the safest the most is wearing is just get their white pants have just gone completely like clay red with dirt. I'm not trying to say that the Garland outfits are dirty, but like these white outfits, they run if they run enough and slide enough on that dirt it might start almost looking like a Garland outfit. <laughs> that, that I'm not do. saying Garland outfits are dirty. I'm just saying. They are kind of they're, a... They're, they're a darker color. They're not grayish color. They're a little grayish, yeah. Got a baseman on third now. He steals home. I'll be impressed. It's a strike. Strike two. I think it'll be pretty hard to steal home at this point. Yep. I'd play, I'd play it safe and wait for the wait for the good hit. Stealing home is the mark of a legend, my friend. Oh, that's the crack of the bat. Uh, that's, that's a an foul. Out. That's a foul behind. <laughs> Straight into the bleachers. Behind, behind the bleachers. bleachers. Yeah. Kind of nervous there. We've got a camera woman up there. <laughs> oh, it's nah, close. She's safe. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Heckler's cheering. Act yep. Heckler's active. I wouldn't say they're hecklers if, no, they're, po if they're positive. Yeah, they're jeerous, yeah. There's a child crying behind us. No worries, though. Yeah. A lot of children do that. That they do. Nice cloud of dust as the ball hits the ground there. Not the same cloud of dust that you would get from stealing a base, though. Yep, yeah, just kind of a little... Thump. A little bit. Just, uh, no... Not that just majestic slide. It's just dust billows everywhere. It's like, you know, in cars. Now, another thing, the dust flying out of the catcher's mitt. Oh, yeah. That shows an impact. That's like something you watch on, like, a slow motion video on YouTube where it's just, like, it just kind of shoots out of the glove. It's great. Oh. Catch and catcher and missed that ball, and it looks like. And that looks like Jalen Graham just made it home. That he has, and we get and like you now has another runner on first. I think we're scoring a lot this game so far. Yep. It's only the second inning with five points. Five, yep, five runs in indeed. Bottom of the second too. Now is it points or runs? You could technically argue Gary for both. Gary I use runs, but you know. I'm a, I'm a simple man. I'll use points. Typically, people will go five to whatever the opposite team has, which I b still believe is one, but it's hard to tell because the visitors like. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it's still one. I don't recall 
Garland sc scoring yep. in the last uh, last half of the inning. Yeah. If you're wondering why we've been so uh, tentative in saying uh, <laughs> scoring as well, it's, b it's because of the fact that the visitor's light is out currently. Yeah. Should probably maybe tally. start creating a tally for, yeah, the, it might be a good idea. for the Garland team. Pitchers. Just because we can't trust our own scoreboard. Yep. Pitchers warming up. We got some uh, batters ready to go. I'd like to remind you, there is still no outs as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe this inning could keep going on forever. You'd never know. Garland's number two is up to pitch now. Uh, Christian uh, Macias. Christian Macias. Macias. Macias? Macias, I think, right? Macy's. No. <laughs> Macy's. Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. He has his own Thanksgiving Day Parade. That that's good, good for him. That's uh, that's excellent right there. Now, I'm not I'm not the 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 most adept at baseball scoring, but could an inning technically go on forever? If it there were no mercy rules, could it technically go on forever if there were no outs? Theoretically, yes. I'm not quite sure what the ruling is on just saying. Game, say of, game of the century. <laughs> literally. It literally lasts a century. It's like, um, you ever read Harry Potter? Uh, the first book only. I remember they mentioned briefly in, the, in one of them that there was a Quidditch game that lasted a couple months because no one caught the snitch. I think that was in the first book. Yeah. I never got around to finishing that series. Yeah, I mean, it was incredibly long. It's understandable. I was also in second grade when I read the first one, <laughs> which yeah. probably made me not want to read the rest of them. Oh, yeah. I mean, the first one alone is like, what, 300, 400 pages? It's insane. Oh, yeah. The later ones are like building bricks or something. Like, you like you could um, make a bulletproof vest out of that. Anyways, Aaron Garza at bat right now, number 13. Yep. He is a sophomore. Two balls right now. No strikes and no outs. Almost got hit there. He, if he did. Didn't, if he didn't twist out of the way. Third ball. He may end up walking here. Let's see. Oh, I've been wrong this entire time. I had thought that on the third ball you get a walk, but it's actually four. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's four or four. You get you know smacked in the body with a hard projectile. That's why I've been saying. Two ball, two uh, strike, and one yeah. result. Because I yeah. thought the, the ball happens at the third one. We have a dog bias now. That's, that's interesting. Hi, puppy. Aaron Garza running to first. And the music kicks on again. They check a bat over to the back to the dugout. Number six emerges to, uh, back to the plate. Dylan Hills, getting, once again, our senior. Number there six. Number six. Might you I mention this dog is very soft. I'm petting him as we speak. Oh, you are now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Any comments on the game from the dog? Woof. Excellent. Nice perspective on the game there. That was a strike already right there. 1-1 one, one for Mr. Hill. Up. Oh. 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 Stole third. Oh, he's running at home. And I think he may have gotten forced out there. Let's see. Nope, he's safe. And we're up to six uh, six runs for the Patriots. Did he just steal home? Pretty sure. Because I don't, I don't think Hill hit the ball. Yeah, no, I don't think so. He just stole home. That was, that was incredibly impressive. The thing about baseball is you end up focusing on one thing too much and you miss, uh, miss the rest of it. And we're all waiting to see what Mr. Hill's doing. Because once again, Mr. Hill... It has um, this is his 61st time to bat right now. 61st. 61st. The most. 
out of White any team. player on Lakeview team. Oh, yeah. Yep. The only person close to him is Aaron Garza with 58 as of the time prior to the yeah, prior to the game starting, but at the time, yeah, at the same time, Hill only had 59 at bats. Well, he just got hit, so he gets a free walk. That he does. Hit right in the foot, which it counts. Yep. Definitely. Yep. I feel like it would hurt less hitting your foot. Yep. And coming up to bat, number 22, Gabriel Rojo. The number seat. 20. Two. He's also a senior. Yep. Did I mention he's also number 22? No, I don't <laughs> think you did. Let me repeat myself one more time. I'm not going to. <laughs> getting limber, checking his bases, getting a stance. Once again, I like to bring up how half the Lakeview team has these incredibly fluorescent, like, bright orange or yellow bats that just kind of stick out from everything. <laughs> Number six got faked out at yep. first base. <laughs> Ooh, straight out to the field. Very good throw. Heads to first. Oh, he keeps going. And that's a run for the Patriots. We now have men on second and third. Garza just ran home. That Still in the game, that he but did. he ran home. And the cash kicks in yet again. But this is a positive Johnny Cash. Yep. Very rare. Yep. That, <laughs> that, yeah. Now batting number 11, Shane Dozier. He is a senior. A lot of seniors up at bat tonight. Yep, there certainly are. Actually, Dozier is number three in uh, the number of in, t uh, in at bats. He's at in, prior to the game. He was at 57. I mean, there was a 59, a 58, and a 57. Uh, 57 at bats. That's a nice little order there. Already a ball on him. Oh, catcher has to do a little bit of a roll there to get that one. <laughs> Second ball for him. Ball number three. Three balls so far. Seems like he's one more ball and he gets free walk. Yeah, it seems like they're trying to walk him. Don't understand why. Odd. Could you imagine whole game, nothing but walks? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not. First Everybody strike. Yep. And, and that was the fourth ball. Bases loaded. So possibility for someone to get a grand slam here. Now, what? now home run, home run right now. Seal the game. Oh yeah. Seal it's the game. It's already at seven points, Lakeview, and we're not even out of the second. It would be, it would be like saran wrapping your leftovers, sealed completely. <laughs> yep. Nice, solid. Currently at bat, number four, Jose Castillo. Just took a strike right there. Nice, solid thunk from the catcher's mitt. Also, not to mention, Jose Castillo is a senior. Yep. Like the previous three batters. You find a lot of upperclassmen on the uh, varsity team. It's, uh, it's uh, pretty impressive that two freshmen managed to squeak their way onto the list this year. Respectable. Yep, that's that was a little bit wide there. It's a ball. See the dust kicked up there. Castillo is currently standing at one and two. One ball, two strikes. Maybe the first out if if the guy uh, plays I, I wouldn't hope. Right. I wouldn't hope. Sitting once again. That, that was <laughs> definitely a ball. That's a wide ball, but Garland plays their cards right. They can get back into this. 
Hopefully, it'd be neat to see if they can. Satisfying thunk. Third ball. Third ball. This he is might, might actually walk. squeeze it out with a free walk. Might end up driving a run home through a walk. I don't. It's been a while since I've seen something like that happen. Uh, strike. Strike. Yeah. Unfortunately, no. out. Nope, that's a walk. Oh, <laughs> that looked like a strike. I, it did certainly. Uh, to us, it looked like a strike, but we're up to eight points. Hey, I'm just saying. Eight runs now. You asked for it. Up to bat, number ten, junior Josh Morton. Eighteen hits prior to the beginning of this game, holding a nice yellowish green fluorescent bat there. Here it's almost glow in the dark. It is. Here I strike at the darkness. Yeah. I attack the darkness. Well, you don't want to strike. Oh, you not, don't. Want, no, yeah, you don't want to strike. If you want to strike, what's the synonym for attack? Vanquish or score? Score, score. That'd work. Oh, Ooh. nice little all deep in the center, and up. Is that is that two points for Lakeview? That is two runs for Lakeview. That is two points for Lakeview. That we are now ten res and one. Incredibly respect respectful. Uh, we'd like to remind everyone that there was uh, bases were loaded at that point, but we now have runners on first and second. Who's on first? I don't know. What's on third? I messed that up big time. You messed that up big time. <laughs> really? Oh. We've been wrong this whole time. <laughs> yeah, we have. It's 10 and 0. It is 10 and 0. Maybe that's why there wasn't a, a graphic up on the scoreboard. Maybe it's not a technical difficulty. Yep. We, we, were, we were giving them the benefit of the doubt. I mean, there's zeros for the other parts of the board. This will probably what confuse us there. Ten. Up to bat, number 21, Jalen Graham. I'd like to remind everyone that Jalen currently leads the team in home runs. He's also a junior. That he is. Now, I'd like to mention 10 and 0 in the second inning with only one out. Yeah, this is. That a bee? No, that's a ladybug. Oh, there's I a ladybug. I just got graced by a ladybug. Wait, count the spots. Seven spotted ones are rare. Well, it's gone now. Up oh, through, the, through the net. I guess he's going to go play. Yep. Now at bat, ladybug. Uh, once again, Jalen Graham is a bat. I guess his jersey number would be his spots. <laughs> that it would. Fly bug. <laughs> Ooh. So we'll have the ump no fly that. balls in this game. Yeah. Just fly bugs. <laughs> such as the ladybug that just landed on me. One and two for Jalen right now. Should probably bring that up. Once again, with only one out for Lakeview. We haven't even struck the third yet. It's been about 30 minutes since uh, Garland was at bat. Pretty impressive run run so far. So far? So, I mean, so far, incredibly. I mean, th this is a great early lead for Lakeview. How many, I think, what, eight points scored already this in a, in this inning for Lakeview? I think so, too. I think it's I think it's around eight. Yeah. Which is a lot. That, that It's really good. That's the second out. Jalen took a bit of an odd swing at that one. He, he I thought <laughs> I thought he got a hit in the foot or something. Yeah, he, he jumped straight up in the air. He did. <laughs> Understandable will be angry when that, something like that happens. 
at bat. Number 14, Amir Mason, freshman and possible legend. <laughs> possible legend. Possible legend in the works. Possible legend in the works, yep. Currently at one ball. Oh. Satisfying hit. All the way out nice. in the right field. Oh, heads first. Oh, he's going to stay there. And that's two runs for Lakeview. We're at 12. 12 and, and oh. Yep. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, wow. Here we have. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. It almost doesn't matter at this point with those with those with those two outs. Not to mention up at bat number thirteen, Aaron Garza. When's he do picking back up just a bit? Oh, that's. I don't know where that, that went. That was. Oh, that's almost right by our technical department. <laughs> right next to our equipment. Right next. I was to wondering it. where it went. I saw. I saw it sail over. Like, oh, that's. That's. that's saw it go up and then disappear. Yep. As long as it's not going through those holes in the net that are right in front of us. Yep. <laughs> I lost count of where we are. We're at. Uh, <laughs> Number 13 is bat. We got two and one with two outs. And the current score is 12 and nothing. That's all thunk of uh, thunk and dust cloud emits from the catcher's mitt. 13 is trying to, well, it's two and two. Two, two, second inning, two ball, two strike, two out. Two at the end of Lakeview score. Oh, there we go. And it's Tuesday. Oh, it is. Ball is a bit sad, but the uh, streak's ended. We're it's uh, the third inning now, top of the third. Well, there goes my joke. Yeah, it's all right. You'll get them next time. We'll see. Maybe we can get to 13. And now uh, we can't. It's and now right. it's currently uh, top of the third inning. Garland coming up to bat. Lakeview pitching and within the field. Yep. We got the getting ready. Uh, Go ahead and you can see Garland over there getting ready to uh, come up to bat. See number 10 warming up over in the corner. Catchers Not to mention it's getting a little chilly outside. It's dropped about four degrees. Yep. Not surprised. Number 10, Josh Morton, pitching for the Lakeview Centennial Patriots. Number 11, we'd like to mention uh, Shane Dozier is catching for Lakeview right in this inning. He and Morton are warming up right now. I think it's a little interesting. Number 10, and another, another, ah, number 11. Yep. Oh, that was... Yeah, this is an interesting game so far. Yeah, actually. Yeah. 12 and nothing in the third inning. Yeah. This is a nine inning game, not to mention. You know, whenever I see um, the, the team take a, take the field and warm up by tossing tossing balls around and jerking around, it makes me want to see like a Harlem Globetrotters team specifically for baseball. It'd be kind of hard to do, though. It'd be, it'd be really hard to do, but it's just like, you know, like playing salt and pepper and stuff. I don't know. Just I was just, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how you could spectate that. Because with the Harlem Globetrotters in a big basketball arena, yeah, you could obviously, there's the giant jumbotrons and all that. Field's also... And, uh, and, 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 and the ball is a lot bigger. And you also kind of you also kind of know what the Harlem Globetrotters do. Oh, thank you. Uh, Our lovely camera woman Melanie just brought us some water. Thank you. 
other thing about that is that the, a court is much smaller than a field, so they're not yeah. running tough. Yeah. Hitting off for the Garland Owls, number 10, Gideon Etheridge. I just tried to drink the microphone. That's a, that's a great start to the inning. <laughs> trying to drink the microphone. That's a new one. I heard of trying to eat the microphone, but not drinking the microphone. Two strikes already for Gar for Garland. Up oh, and a nice little hit into the infield. Up, oh, let's see who that was. Don't quite know if that was an. If that was an out already. That was an out. Tried going for first. Fortunately, only got an out. Got cut short. Yep. Now batting number two, Christian Macius for the Garland Owls. It'd be weird if it wasn't the Garland Owls. Yeah. Spontaneously changes to something else. One ball, one strike, one out. One up. Third inning. 111. Or one plus one plus one. Which is three, which is an inning, but it's not anymore because there's anymore. two strikes. Fortunately. Yep. Creaky gate behind us is this thing keeps creeping me out. Oh, and that's a foul. Now to take our attention away from the game for just one second. The sunset. Those clouds look amazing. That is a, I'm taking a picture of that, actually. That's a beautiful pink. Pink right on there. the bottom. Yeah, dark that blue on the top. And if you look way off in the distance, you can almost see the crescent of the moon. Yep, you certainly can. Now back to the game. There's currently two ball, two strike, and one out. Ooh, that was a very high ball. That's Head level. Oh, yep. That was and now, three ball, two strike, one out. Three, two, one. Counting down to possibly the next inning. Yep. Potentially. <laughs> Potentially. And that is the second out. I almost said third, but that would have been weird. <laughs> Double of two right now. Zero ball, zero strikes. Coming up to bat, number 14, out. Hunter Tucker. Oh, you beat our announcer to it on that one. <laughs> yes, we beat our own announcer to that one. Couple hecklers for Tucker. Garland side seems to have grown a little bit in spectators, I might add. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yep. But so has the Lakeview side. Oh, yep. Got some people lining up already at the concession stand. It's almost the same ratio as before. Yep. And it is already one ball, two strike, and two out. Yep. Now, you mentioned the concession stand earlier. I could go for some nachos right now. Well, hopefully we'll end up at the seventh inning stretch, eh, stretch soon. If Lakeview doesn't somehow, if Lakeview doesn't keep getting all those amazing runs that they have been before, because we're moving into the bottom of the third. Bottom of the third. Lakeview back at bat, which is almost bad news bears for Garland. Once again, that was another like, almost five minute and a half of ending right there. That was... I mean, this is turning out very bad for Garland right now. It's currently 8 o 8 8.08 on a fine Tuesday evening. You're wrong. It's 8.09. My, I, my bad. I <laughs> shamed my family. 
That's so okay, that though, because really, we're putting too much trust in a time, honestly. Yeah. Because the time that we're keeping is, honestly, who knows? We're just trusting the last person that kept time. <laughs> Who's also trusting the last person that kept time? Until it's the circle of trust until we reach the first person to tr keep track of time. So you never know. You're being too meta for us right now, Connor. Yeah. You know, it's it's baseball. It gives you it gives you time to think and reflect. Can I give someone especially that? between inning halves? Yeah, we got some nice energetic music to pump up the crowd for their new uh, existential crises that Connor's just because it's tax day. Oh yeah, yep, <laughs> it is tax day. That's why the whole crowd looks just a, a little worried. Yep. It could be that. That dawning fear of, oh no, tax day. Now it looks like coming up to bat, number six, Dylan Hill. You know, if we're going to talk about Tax Day, we might as well remind everyone that this Sunday is Earth Day. Yes. Sunday is Earth Day. It's good to protect the Earth. Yep. Because as long as we have an Earth, we'll always have baseball. Yep. That is true. It is a universal constant that as long as we have the Earth, we'll always have baseball. Not sure. Baseball wouldn't really work on the moon. I mean, you'd, you'd hit, what? You'd have to make the. It would be a way larger arena. It'd be a way larger field, yeah. But then it would. You'd have field, to, not arena. Yeah, you'd Sorry. have to have more players. I'd say in the outfield. Definitely. You might have to have like nine in the outfield alone. I mean, three in a column, kind of. Do you kind of like an X pattern on a Ooh, domino or dice? And I think that was a foul. That. Yep. It does seem like a foul. Currently, it is. Oh no! It was a strike. Oh, strike! Yeah. Well, I mean, it, uh, first two, uh, first two uh, fouls to get are strikes. Oh. But uh, you, after that, you can get infinite as many fouls. The whole game of just fouls. Yeah. It's currently one ball, two strikes. Second ball. Hills looking to try and get it and limber up. And try and actually see if he can bring a way you into a new area, an inning of prosperity like the last one was. That was an incredible inning they had last game, the last turn, uh, last inning. Crud, I can't speak tonight. That's okay. It's the wind. It is the. I'm. G we blame <laughs> the wind. We blame the wind for everything. We blame the wind. another ball there. It's currently at three and two. Three, two, zero. We skipped one because there is no out yet. There are no outs right now. Once again at the bottom of the third. No runners on the first, second, or third base. Now from, from where we are, from where we're sitting, we can see the sign for the Texas Stadium. My only, my only question is why can't we have baseball there? <laughs> oh, and also not to mention, Dylan Hill gets a free walk to first base. Number 22 steps up to bat. Gabriel Rojo up at bat, number 22, senior. You may remember him from pitching earlier in the game. And batting in the last inning well, as well. Oh, yeah. That certainly is. Mr. Rojo's all over the place. A true renaissance man. I think it'd be interesting, though, to have baseball, but instead it's on a hard field with rollerblades. That would be fun. I'd pay money to see that. I feel like we have a Japanese game show on our hands. <laughs> they do like baseball over there, so, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should pitch that idea. Currently at two ball, one strike, zero out, with Dylan Hill at first. Currently at three balls now, actually. That's one yeah. more, and he gets another walk. Yep. We get have a walking inning. 
for still in the second there if that happens. Imagine walking in to a walking inning. But um That one was actually terrible. That would yeah, it was I, I But it was know. funny. It was I the funny kind of terrible. I didn't want to say anything, but that was that was just bad. <laughs> um, it's odd. I I mean I'm I'm looking at the bats and I just keep thinking it's odd for Lakeview you have chosen such you vibrant colors. You would think they'd be blue. Yeah, you think or yellow, blue or yellow or white or something to match the uniforms. And he that was the fourth ball, and second run, no, second second walk. Second walk, yeah, Rojo walks. We, and we it, two two more walks and we do get a run. And Johnny Cash kicks on again. Now batting number eleven, Shane Dozier. Now batting number eleven, Shane Dozier. You might remember him from. Uh, from catching from doing earlier. everything earlier. Yeah. Not to mention, also a senior. Yep. That is true. You know, something interesting I've noticed about the Garland teams is, and I'm fairly certain you've noticed it as well, is that all their players are numbered in order. Almost. Uh, yeah, almost. There's a couple of exceptions for coaches and stuff, and I think there's uh, uh, there's an... 18 missing, or I do believe I'll have to check the roster again, but it goes from 0 to 24 it's, uh, with huh. only a couple holes, so Well oh, That makes sense It's a small team That it is The wild west of tinfoil just scraping past us A little tumbleweed of Tinfoil, nice. Tumblefoil. Tumblefoil. <laughs> oh. Ooh. I'm scared he's going to get hit on his wrist. Yeah, I, I, it's, from what it looked like back here, it looked like he hit him in the back of the hand. Doesn't even make sense, but that's it what it looked like. Currently two ball, two strike, zero out. Still in the bottom of the third. Oh, and the ball gets away from the catcher there. And a s second and third base are now filled. Yep. Quick, easy steal for them. By Rojo and Hill. 11 still at bat. Ping! Uh, straight up into the air. Straight up, and the it was caught, though. Pitcher catches it, pop fly. That's going to be their first down. Fortunately. Yep, but that's only the first out. Only the first out, yeah. Now batting, number four, Jose Castillo. Now at bat, number four, Jose Castillo. Senior. Castillo is also working with an excellent 14 runs batted in. Ooh. He hit, but it went straight down. Yep. Nice little, like, you can kind of hear the little ding as the little, you know, hits the tip of the bat. Just not quite that satisfying ka ching as a, like. Some interesting physics, though. Yeah. Because he hits it straight forward, yet it goes straight down. Yep. You just Way like, too far out. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was a ball. That was, you know, and, yeah, yeah, that that should have been involved. Waiting for the scoreboard update. And he uh, updating never ever. Nice little swing and a pop and up towards right, the right into right field. field. Yep. Unfortunately, oh, caught. Running for home. Hill is going to make it. Another run brings up and Lakeview up to 13. Is that the second out, though? Well, let's see if it updates. I, I was focused more on Hill that, in that exchange. I could have sworn the ball got caught by the uh, right fielder. You know, 13 is a rather unlucky number for most players, but I feel like for Lakeview it would be even more because as the Patriots, there was 13 original colonies. Interesting. So up at bat, number 10, Josh Morton.
they're fixing the scoreboard right now. That's a that's a strike. Here's that was not an out there. You got man. No, it was an out. I was oh no, correct. they just up. Yep, they just updated as soon as I said that. Figures. I was wondering where those numbers were. Getting a really re lead from third. Looks like Lafey's going to get another run. Number seven. 14 and nothing so far. Number seven crosses Blake Dickerson, fellow TV student. Now up at bat, number two, Justin Ortega, senior. It is all the way off to my side. I, I got it here. One ball. One strike, two out. Oh, nice straight little straight up hang going straight up and to the right. Um, and it's a catch that's going to bring a close to this inning. Heading into the fourth now. Top of the fourth, Garland up at bat. Almost halfway into the game. It's gotten dark now. The only lights are the stadium lights. The sun is down way off on the horizon. Yeah, we've lost that vibrant pink that showed up before. Unfortunately. Yeah. But it's okay, because it'll come up tomorrow. And we've got baseball. And we still have baseball. As long as the sun comes up tomorrow, and we still have baseball, and Lakeview still does good. And the concession stand's still open. And the concession stand's still open. And nachos still exist. Everything's good. Boy, a world where nachos don't exist. That's thats a tragedy right there. Are they playing Cardi B? I think they are. <laughs> that they are. I don't listen to much of her stuff, but I heard she released an album recently yeah. called Invasion of Privacy. It's in Spot on <laughs> for the current politics. As much as I dislike politics, I hope she gets a little political. Be interesting. Be one indeed. My music knowledge kind of cuts out around the early 90s, so. <laughs> I mean, personally, the best eras of music are when there's political distress. I mean, punk in the 80s. It's true. Punk in the 80s. 70s and 60s. With, you know, 70s and 60s as well. Up. Let's see. I mean, what, what you got to admit, though, punk in the 80s is where it was at, the height of political commentary and music. <laughs> yep. Up at bat for Garland Owls, number nine, Bo Bashirs. I actually knew Bo as well, along with Gideon. Same classes. Oh, ooh, All that right, was, dude. That was incredibly close. That starts from, er, a, acting from the crowd Con there. Controversial wow. move there. That was incredibly close. That was like an inch away from Mo. <laughs> Two balls, um, no strikes, and no outs. You can see the moon more clearly now. No, you can't. Oh, gro ground out. It's going to chuck it at first. Oh, looks like it was just safe. We got a runner on first. Along with being able to see the moon, also means you can see the ball. That <laughs> that's true. It's now not kind of just faint up against the sky. We've got a nice little black background. We have the, we have a, a nice dark background, bright stadium lights, and white baseball. Yep. Up at bat, number twenty-one. Jacob Fryer. It's going to be a ball right there. A little low towards the end. Descended a bit quickly. 
Uh, can I also mention Lakeview is still fourteen and nothing. Yeah, that's that, that is incredible. We got you know, two and zero. In the right fourth now. inning. Yeah, top of the fourth. We are uh, at the end of this. We are halfway through the game. This is this is insane. Current time is just shy of eight twenty-five. Uh, I mean, less than an hour and a half, we're almost uh, halfway through the game, I and mean, that and pretty on time there. Say. You can never predict how long a baseball game lasts, but I would say we're about halfway through. Yeah. Three ball, one strike. Another strike, three and two. One outcome. Well, unless they get a foul. Unless they get a foul. That was why, though. That that's yeah, a uh, that's, that's a, a free walk. walk. So that's. Um, we might runners. just be walking in on a walking inning. <laughs> we got um, runners on first and second right now. Really? I don't know who's on third. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ah. You don't know. Happen to know who's pitching, do you? No, it was never announced. But it's number 11, Cody Russell. I expect you to tell me tomorrow. Well. Oh. That was a weird angle that it went. Yep, and we now have runners on third and second. Took like advantage of a neat little uh, kerfuffle there. They might actually get a run this inning. Let's see. We've got a runner on third. I mean, I mean, even if we get a see a single here. Up. Oh, uh, pop. Oh. Out. Pop. Why? That's an out. But that is a run. I would think. Potentially. He's going back. Yep, they're going back. That is not a run. Ouch. Still fourteen to nothing. Not an out either, so. The moon almost looks a little orange. It does. It does. Single solitary star. You know, a couple. Uh, Ball just came moment. straight toward us. I, <laughs> that scared me for a minute. And I think about one or two days, it's going to be a new moon. Yep, it certainly looks like it. Oh, can, can you can you remember what the difference between a waxing and a waning is? Waning means it's going closer to a full moon. Waxing means closer to a new moon. I thought it was the exact. I I I think it's the exact opposite. But do you remember like which like it, when the left half of the moon lights up, it's what? And when the right half of the moon lights up, it's what? Uh, I'm pretty sure waxing is the right half. I just lost my water. That uh, wind's picked up again, my friends. Definitely. I just remember my eighth grade science teacher saying, Wayne on, wax off. <laughs> Karate Kid reference there. Have you seen the trailers for Cobra Kai? No, not at all. Uh, they're doing like a reboot thing on YouTube Red. Seem, I think it seems interesting that they're doing that about 30 years late, uh, well, 30 years later on a social media platform. Not exactly the mo movie you'd expect. Still not going to get me to pay for YouTube Red. <laughs> it is currently one ball, two strike, one out. One out indeed. Once again, runners on second and third. Actually, currently at bat is Adrian De La Pena. Not anymore. He's just been struck out. Not Rings. anymore. Adrian De La, he's already gone. Up at bat. Jackson, Jackson Forrester. Forrester. Number five. Number five. I'm surprised you remembered that. Well, I mean, I can see a gi giant yellow number on his back anyway, too. So, you know. Oh, that helps. Yeah. So. Two out so far. And one run. Do you believe so? Yep, we finally hit one run. Finally one run. 
Patriots are still are currently fourteen to one. Fourteen and one. Sky is almost pitch black at this point. Yep. Makes for a great backdrop. Does indeed. I can now probably see the balls when they hit a foul and they go right towards us. Texas Stadium sign is completely illuminated now. Yet no events there. <laughs> well, They're certainly not playing baseball at Texas Stadium. That's for sure. Well, like I mentioned earlier, I should probably pitch that skate ball idea. <laughs> skate ball. <laughs> it has potential. That's a strike. It's currently 1-1, one, one, two outs. Along with skate ball, I remember uh, at Westlake Skate, when I was a lot younger, we played hockey on the skating rink with a wiffle ball Floor and broomsticks. Floor hockey, nice. Floor hockey on a skating rink with broomsticks. <laughs> it was pretty fun. Currently, three ball, one strike, two out. Top of the fourth, and that's going to be a free walk. A walk, yep. Bases loaded. Players on one, two, and three. Nice solid hit. May put, may get uh, Garland a nice total of five points if they play their cards right. And up at bat, number one, Anthony Torres. Now that water that you spilled earlier, completely gone. <laughs> Even though it's not sunny outside or hot, oh, it's mysteriously disappeared. Not entirely true. So like, take a look underneath you. Yeah, yeah, like uh, right underneath oh, the table. It's on the other side. Yep. My mistake. You know, I really like uh, how um uh, how just because Garland's colors are uh, black and yellow. Their socks look like bumblebees whenever, like, whenever you take a look at it. I think they look like the old Mary Jane candies. <laughs> you ever had one of those? I have not. I have not had one of those. Oh. You can only get them around Halloween and in convenience stores. And I forgot what they tasted like, but I remember it being pretty good. That's, uh, speaking of, well, moving on, it's three outs. But <laughs> three outs, so it's now the bottom of the fourth inning. Lakeview oh. coming up to bat. Bottom of the fourth, just after 8.30. Fine Tuesday night here for baseball. Wind seems to have died down just a smidge. It's still enough to make my hair go crazy. But I'm okay with it. We, <laughs> we keep losing all our papers halfway through this. Uh, you'll hear us, like, whenever a Garwin player comes up to bat, you'll hear us flip, right. have to rifle through stuff in order to get to the... Angle. It's definitely hard to keep these down. Yep. I mean, our, our, the desk we're sitting at right now is covered in tape right now. <laughs> but it's definitely hard to keep Lakeview's score down as well. That is true. Still, leading by 13, Lakeview has four, uh, Lakeview is 14 to 1. So. Yeah. Players warming up as Lakeview gets ready to step up to bat. Number three, Aiden Gary, is warming up. We need to go ahead and step up to the plate as soon as the little mid inning break happens. Once again, the game is halfway over, so bottom of the fourth. Well, not quite even the bottom of the fourth yet, just a little mid-inning period of relaxation there. And yeah, stepping up to the plate now is Aiden Gary. They're playing some good music right now. Classic music. That they are. Up at bat, number three, Aiden Gary, Jr. Aiden currently has the highest batting average of the of Lakeview team right now. 
Maybe he can make it even higher today. Hopefully. Let's see how he does. He's already at one strike. Number three. Baseball's a game of threes, isn't it? Really? You get three strikes, there's three outs, and nine innings, three times three. Now I noticed that Aiden has a bit of a flourish when he's swinging his own bat. Oh, yeah. When he's prepping, he has a nice underhand swing. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I'm, take, I'm trying to take it it's easy and relax while taking some nice snaps there. That's a strike. He's currently at one ball, two strike, zero out. Let's see if he manages to pop this off. Way too low. That was on the ground. Wow. I think that hurt the catcher's foot. Yeah. He had to step away for a second. Yep. Uh, number four, Juan Garrison is pitching for Garland. Anything you'd like to add? Felt like that was a bit too high. Yep. And it is the. It actually was a bit too high. Uh, considered a second ball. Yep. And the throw. Oh, that was way, way too, too low. low. Third ball. Three and two. He can either strike again or get a walk. Or get a foul. Or get a foul. And foul repeatedly until something happens. Foul forever until you get too old to play. Foul so much that you turn into a duck. Or a chicken. Yeah. Oh. And oh. foul ball. Foul ball. That was, <laughs> that, that scared that me. That could have went over the net. That almost went over the net, too. <laughs> I started looking ahead, and then I realized it was sailing towards us. Can you get another foul? And then another? And then another? And then another? And another? And then another? Something was just thrown at us. <laughs> and that is the first out of the inning. Yep. Swing and a miss. Nobody is on base right now, except for the baseman. Coming up the bat, number 14, Amir Mason, freshman. Way too far out. That was a ball, guaranteed. If I see a strike, I'm going to be mad. I'm kidding. It was a ball. Another ball, I would that say. That was pretty there. low. That was incredible. Another ball. I think when you can't see it, like even like through, when you can see it through the umpire's legs, I'm fairly saying that's a bit too low. <laughs> I would say so. Oh, foul. That is a foul. First strike. Another incredibly low ball there. Yep, another ball. Third Thre ball. Three and one. One more, and that's a walk. One out, bottom of the fourth. Number 14 at bat. No runners, bases are empty. One starting pickup again, you can see dust blowing across the field and that's a hit towards right field. They're running towards it, they're trying to get him out. And I think they may have forced an out. Let's see what the board says. The board says yep. that they forced an out. Unfortunate. Game seems to be turning around for uh, for Garland. They didn't seem to. Uh, Lakeview didn't make very many runs last round, uh, uh, last inning, and they don't seem to be making any this time. Uh, this time neither. But also, Garland seems to be pretty stagnant when it comes to scoring. Yep. And four turns of bat, Garland has gotten one uh, one run in. It's already a currently at bat number twenty-four, Dawson Bell. Just took a strike, too. He is a senior, not to mention. Oh, foul ball. Towards the stands? No idea where that went. That just vanished. Did that hit the net, do you think? 
Uh, no, the, net, mean, the net's not that high. We kind of follow that up, and there's a light right. I think in front it. Of I think it just went into the shadow realm. <laughs> now that, that was a nice a, hit. That's magnificent. Straight into right field, rounding second. I was convinced he was going to smash a light. Heading for third, is it triple? A triple. Fantastic play right there. I said this earlier. I Fantastic thought he was going to break a light. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, how high and that that ball went. It did. Fantastic hit there. Very, very, very nice. A bit back, number six, Dylan Hill. Hearing from a spectator that that last hit was all the way out to a fence. <laughs> well, even bouncing off. Good news for um, for Lakeview. Dylan Hill currently leads uh, the team and runs batted in, meaning that this is hopefully going to end up in another run for Lakeview. Hopefully. That would put them at 15 against Garland's one one run. That was a strike. Two outs. That was a ball. Here's some tires squealing way out in the road. Yep, they are. Oh, that was an incredibly low throw right Maybe there. Maybe their tires are squealing because they just got hit by that one ball that we couldn't figure out where it went. <laughs> Currently at two ball and one out. Here's a story of one player um, back in the 1940s, who played a game of ball in Philly. He hit the ball and got a home run. The next day, they played a uh, game in Pittsburgh. The ball came down. Uh, a ball came down from the sky. The opposing team caught it and, and got him out. Highly doubt. I believe on. that's <laughs> a lie. I believe it is too. But it three ball, two oh, out, sorry. and two strike. Two strikes. One outcome or a foul. As it always is. Oh, and that's going to be a strike. And that beautiful triple has been wasted. Such a shame. It is now the top of the fifth inning. Garland coming up to bat. Yep. 14 and 1. Let's see how this turns out. Here's the hoping for more amazing hits like that last one. Yeah. All the way out to the fence. Energetic music is the crowd excited again as we head into the fifth. See all the Lakeview players standing around third deciding what they're going to be doing. All right, okay. The thing is, I think I used to know the title of the song, but I do not remember at all. I'm trying to remember. This is the moment? No. No? City Can't Hold Us? No. I feel like it's something from the chorus, isn't it? Let me Shazam this real quick. <laughs> also, just in case you did not know, those of you who use Snapchat, Snapchat actually has Shazam built in. You hold down on the camera, it actually searches for the music. It is Can't Hold Us by Macklemore. Yep, you were right. Yeah. Technology is amazing. The advent of the digital age has certainly brought us such wonders, but none as great as the great game of baseball. 
Actually, surprisingly, baseball is still a fairly simple game. Yep, that it is. It just seems to be the stadiums that get more advanced. Yep. And even then, how far can you advance entertainment seating? Lunar baseball? <laughs> Lunar baseball. Skateball. Lunar skateball. I feel like that'd be a bit too much. The more, the more we talk about the skateball idea, the more I want to actually see it in play. They would have to be some, in, you'd have to get some incredibly good skaters to play that. That, man, that's, that'd be rough. So on the mound, pitcher Aaron Garza. And fielder. With catcher number 11, Shane Dozier. Infielders seem to be gathered at the mound discussing what they're going to be doing. While number two for the Garland Owls, Christian Musius, gets ready to go up to bat. Macius, Macius, tomato, tomato. Oh, nice. And crack. a wonderful hit that was to a, start off. That was a crack. Unfortunately, caught. Pop fly. <laughs> so that's an out. Did make a really nice crack. That's one of the better hits. That was definitely that a satisfying sound. That. If I could sound bite that. <laughs> a bit too far. But counted as a strike. That Looks like flew gonna, all the way off to the side. Looks like that's definitely going to be a ball. I think it's about that time. June bug season. That it is. I it's see here. a very large one just all the way over there doing its own thing. I love it when they're just on their back and they can't get up, and you're just like, come on, man. You can, you can do it. You can just flip over. Doing June bug things. Also, not to mention June bugs in April. Not even June. That is true. We're still two months off. That last hit was actually pretty good. Up at bat right now, number nine, Bo Bashirs. Solid throw by Aaron Garza. Second ball. Third ball. I feel like this might be a walk. I feel like it might be as well. That was a strike. Three and one with one out in the top of the fifth. Now they get the second strike. Oh, that's a hit. It's going Is that a foul? Sailing. Looks like I it have a feeling be. that's going to get caught. That got it caught. It got caught. Cheers from the Lake Two Sun. I'll pull out a pause. As you would expect. Two outs. Two outs. No runs. Garland top of the fifth inning. Garwin to bat. Coming up to bat. Jacob Fryer. Number 21. 21. There are not 20 people below him because Garland skipped a few numbers. But he's number 21. He also branches the, uh, the number. That was a powerful swing that he just tried. He also it's branches kinda. the number you need to win in blackjack. Yes. Which, would that translate to him being lucky? Maybe. It's also a dead meme, so you know. Well, that was the third strike. Third out. 
Pierce, who's it not so lucky. <laughs> Bottom of the fifth. That was the end. End of the game. That was the end. Lakeview Centennial, 14. Garland, 1. That's it for LCTV. I'm Connor Orr. And I'm Josh Gephardt. Thanks for watching.